the burning question that we had at the time was, how do we replicate? How do we create this membrane? And the obvious answer was lithography. So, oh, by the way, uh, the lab on a chip, the chip in the lab on a chip is because of the lithography techniques that we are borrowing from computer chip manufacturing, okay? So the first thing that we did when we started this project three months ago, believe it or not, it's only been three months, um, is we created this mask, and I've got three resolutions of this mask over here. For the first iteration, we wanted to keep our pore sizes down to 10 microns, uh, which were evenly spaced at 15 microns, okay? <clears throat> What you see in figure D is our unconventional, or one of our unconventional methods for fabricating this membrane. If you have time in Q&A, we can actually go over some of those uh, specifics. Um, what you see down here, let me see if I, um, okay. And what you see in figures E through H is the result of this uh, fabrication. Not only were we able to successfully, I mean, look at the fidelity of these features. Not only were we able to successfully create this membrane, bonded on both sides without tearing it, we were able to do it repeatedly. But it gets even more interesting. When my advisor, Dr. Sethu, presented this uh, at a MSC seminar in January, Dr. Thomas, who is the resident electrospinning guru, offered us a challenge. He said, why not, instead of microporous membrane, go for nanoporous membranes that are fabricated from electrospin fibers? And to the best of our knowledge, Nobody anywhere had done this before. How could you say no to that challenge, right? So we took it. The biggest problem, or the trickiest part of this, was bonding that membrane to the housing. And I actually have some samples of this after I'm done with the presentation. I can show you some of these. And we tried a whole bunch of different approaches, like all kinds of approaches, but none of them stuck. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I tried a simple hack. I didn't have anything to lose, right? I uh, took the membrane and scraped off about a quarter millimeter diameter holes in the corners and on the edges. Plasma treated both surfaces, brought them in contact using a uh, LED light source that I got from a dollar store to align the chambers, put them in a clamp, and then uh, put the sandwich in a 60 degree oven for about two hours. And voila, lab on a brain was born. 